Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Wednesday. It is 8 p.m. That means one thing. It is three men and a vape show. It is show 99. Yes, 99. That means you all get a flake tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by my usual casters, the one and only Harley. How are you, brother? Good. How come everyone else in chat got a flake and we didn't? We get a flake later. That's when uh, Mr. B gets covered in stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 who's the first one to lick it off? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Ooh, off just to me. <laughs> you know what me that I haven't married. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. B, how are you, brother? Confused. I spent all day thinking tonight was the 100th show. And shared it went, tonight, 100th show, come and join us. Then title, 99th for, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it a thing that often happens to you coming v- premature or? Well, you have to speak to my wife about that, but I can confirm that is true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to we be are... fair, Mister B, if it, if it weren't for Aiden, we'd be on his hundred and first show by now. Just like exactly, that, he's, he's cocked me up completely. I've been counting the weeks. He's, he's even made an entire like elf story out of it. That was really. We could have got to the 100th show, just me and you. But Aiden's like, no, no, you can't have my show without me. No, it's not our show then, is it? <laughs> you can see the politics broke, can't you? You can tell it. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are sat down here with the wonderful lads from their own service. Obviously, we haven't got Stevie, BFG. He's away in Liverpool getting his end away. Um, so he's all happy and dancing. But we are joined by the wonderful Stevie Gillidaff Porter, if I said that right then. Yeah, Can not. I just say, before we get into this, that is the very first time I've ever heard an adult say, brother, he's picking on me. <laughs> you don't have politics, brother. Brother, he's picking on me. <laughs> well, you, have to, you have to get your brother there, don't you? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my real-life brother, if you didn't know, down in the corner of the wonderful Solio, me, how are you, brother? I'm all right, bro. <laughs> Oh, good. And uh, we've got a jam-packed show for you tonight. As you'll not only have we got your Rochford Project giveaway, if you look just down in the corner, you've got your 15% off while the show is live. Go and use it. Three Men Vape, I think it is. And then you have also got your Oxford giveaway, which we'll be doing a little bit later on. Just a big shout-out to everybody who is in chat. You are a bunch of stars. You follow us week in, week out, and you mean so much to us. Big love. And you've also got your... Vaporholics as well. Yes, we've got to get it. We've got to get them all in. It's it's, it's a full show of uh, of commercials. I feel like some sort of Power Rangers every time we do that. Yeah. I actually thought, I actually thought you were going to Matthew tonight. I'm going to be John. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be John Denver. X Factor. Well, that was that other clown on it. That must be one of the the most ironic things that I need, John Denver. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Yeah, he did, and then he never came back again, didn't he? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> did he ever? Fi- did he ever find his plane? It went to Las Vegas and fucked off. <laughs> I don't know. It I don't know if they ever. Wait, I don't, I don't know. Must have found his plane. Oh, they found. Like, yeah, they found him. Was it not that guy? It was something to do with Richard Branson. That they've never found him though. I think they. I think they did find John Denver. I don't know if they, 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 they found John Denver. I was arguing with somebody the other day that they didn't find Buddy Holly, but apparently they did, yeah. <laughs> did they? Uh, oh, no, what am I thinking about? When they found him at the end of the runway with Richie Valens. No, that was when that was the other big... guy. But they, yeah. I don't think they found the bodies. I thought they found him at the end of the runway. Because there was Buddy Holly, uh, Richie Valens, Big Bopper. Please let us know in chat if anybody found you out, found Buddy Holly out there. The <laughs> top game of top trumps I've ever seen in my life. No, did, did he find that one? No, he didn't find that one. Snap next. <laughs> do you know what would be real? Do you know what would be really good and commemorable now? As if Cheech were here and he just came up with the name and Buddy Holly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Buddy Holly should get a real job. Yeah, he did. He did find them. The did yeah, I thought the did yeah end at runway. They never found Glenn Miller. Is, is this what we're, is this what we're doing, Mr. Show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Who found a dead person? <laughs> you know, don't name the dead artist, and you tell me if they found him. Found that toilet. Three men in a vape show meets the X Files. <laughs> Matt Chandler says Buddy Holly works in his chippy. Are you sure it's not Elvis? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we've got to carry on with the show, even though we're on about name the dead person. Uh, we are going to look at the people on the replay. If the button, fuck you, press the bastard button, fatty. This one's for all the cool cats on the replay. That was the people on the replay. Kev WXM, thanks Mr. B for the deals of the week. Got myself a crown four kit in red and I love it. Cheers. Howard Car- Whoa, whoa, this is my section, Mr. B. <laughs> oh, How- you said early this week. Right, dickhead. <laughs> Howard Carter IV, currently waiting on a parcel from Carrick Vape to Scotland. Been three weeks, been sent to Cumbernauld for reason for some reason. And it's 20 to 5. Don't jinx it, guys. I've still got four minutes. To, do you reckon it's going to turn up or it's hopeless? Uh, Liz has come to say big love to uh, the number one caster. This is Harley. Heart, 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 heart. Chris, Chris Edwards, excellent show. Harley is definitely the best caster ever. He is number one. King of Eel, the big cheese. <laughs> Not banning people from this show. Do you know, it, it's only the last couple of weeks that I've really started to love life. I wonder why. My kids, what a great Love it, guys. Army Man Brad, great show, brothers. Oh, and thanks for the Destroy My Dreams about the box. I've been waiting for it here in the US for the past three months, and now I'm just going to bite the bullet and buy the Felmer instead. Bob Cattrall, oh Harley, you're so fine. Oh Harley, you're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey Harley. Jesus fucking Christ. It's getting worse, this, isn't it? Sounds to, worse me like Harley. <laughs> Sounds to me like Harley's got a shitload of fake accounts. Yeah, yeah. I think he has, though. Yeah. <laughs> the worst, worst thing that is, I had to read the art. Just think about it. If Mr. B had to do this section, Mr. B would have had to sing that. <laughs> I'd, have just, I'd have just deleted the comment I told you to. I'd have been, nope. No, no comments this week, all gone. <laughs> John Paul Glasgow, hi to Vic twice. Mike Haynes on the replay and Howard Carter, Ivy. Vic, I've just got your auction parcel from a Misfits. I really? saw a post about that. That was a hell of an auction parcel as well. <laughs> I like this bloke's name. In, oh, I think it's a bloke in chat. He says, uh, one-legged tripod, a.k.a. monopod. I love Harley. Which one is he? <laughs> Is, is the guy in the hat, his telephone number is, <laughs> you think him as pet for date. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know as well, um, you've probably seen a name in chat. Her name is Pam Briety. Uh, she's one of my patrons and also somebody who follows the show a lot, uh, all the way from Australia. She's uh, been in hospital, so please go and send her all the love as you can do. Big Trubby love, girls, Pam. Pam. She's an absolute star. Trubby Pam, girls, Pam. Benny Vapes hands. Uh, big love to Pam. So tonight we have got a jam-packed show and the wonderful Benny Vapes messaged me today and says, don't worry if you go a little bit over over it, don't worry about it. Um, thank no. you very much for shouting us out. So that is quite nice. So we, we can go a little bit further over. So sod you two about my uh, strict... Uh... We don't oh, worry oh, oh. Don't about it. Uh, yeah. Benny, he'd be sure mad with me. Fuck off, he'd be right. No, he's not mad with me. I just it's, it's etiquette, isn't it, Mark? You, you try and make sure you finish yeah. before... But he did say afterwards, I know where you live. He did, yeah. <laughs> yeah he I did, know yeah. where you know one will hear you scream. <laughs> I have a certain set of skills. <laughs> I've seen Benny Vapes' set of skills. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Loads, oh, that's brilliant. Loads of hearts in for Pam. She's absolutely lovely. Um, I tell you what, let's get one of the, the segments out of the way, especially now we've got Steve here and Mark that can have a bit of a guess of what the actual stuff is. So we will do um, hand check time, people. It's that time, people. It's hand check time. <laughs> Me too. Have you started with threats? Peace <laughs> flaps, I've got a big cock. <laughs> oh no, well they couldn't hear that, could they? <laughs> you great big nipple. You know. <laughs> this is Amanda Gibson. Are you guessing or am I telling you? Um that mm-hmm. is the uh SQ. We will give it away. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's the dark side jungle. And that's some dark star liquid. And there's some uh Strawberry Delight. 
you're, you're guessing it today, Adam. Well you've done. You've got the Z uh, Zeus X on there, and you've also in that the uh... yeah, Asgard, Asgard Mini. Yeah, Asgard Mini. But the mod, isn't that the one where you can have the lipo in? I, I'm not is, sure. Is is that the? Uh... I don't know what you call it? You can convert. Is it the ion? O L. It's spelled O N I. It is indeed O N I one six seven. And he said Zion. You got Ion. Ion. O N I. That's all. Yeah, O N I. Oni. 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 I thought I thought you said Ion. It was A. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I thought it was the Chinese with their use of words again, not understanding how they work. This is Bill Richards. It's the R's. It is. That's a hell vape. Yep, ours. I'm not quite sure about the tank though. And that drip tip's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's an erected drip tip. I think that drip tip could do with your wash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at all that lip gunk all over it. Yeah. Oh, bastard, sent this in right proud of me. You're going to get dirty fucking bastard. Wipe your lips. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Bill. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not going to comment because I don't want to get in trouble by anyone. I'm a nice, peaceful young chap. Bill Richards with the Hell Vape Arez with the Troll RTA. Blueberry whipped inside. Ooh. It looks like Blueberry whipped outside, not. <laughs> 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 this one's Kieran Doyle. What's he got? That's the mix, isn't it? That's the mix, yeah. And that's some IBG salt. And is that the... Uh, is, is that the uh, Aspire something? It's for a res two. Well, ours two, Indican. With proper coils inside. IVG Ooh. frozen cherries. Hashtag replay crew. Sorry I won't be there tonight. Real life and all that. Congratulations on the one hundredth show. We'll carry that over till next week, Kieran, but thank you. Use little bro Mr. bait ten, you get ten percent off of proper coils. Oh Greg Meekle. <laughs> is for what, sorry? It's the clutch. It is. Anyone else? Got... Do you <laughs> trainers? <laughs> Adidas trainers. Set of feelers. Yeah. And his carpet don't go all the way to the wall. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's the discount. He only paid for three quarters. <laughs> Use little bro ten at uh, Carpets or Us. <laughs> Guys. One night Guys. square mile. <laughs> I know you can't watch that see me, but I am shaking my head, I promise. I don't approve of these guys' behaviour. Oh, we're only, only joking. <laughs> you know. It's he's Craig making, me. He's making blowjob faces. Don't pretend this shit. <laughs> it's Craig Meekle with his new toy, the Clutch X18, with the 28mm doors and the Juggernaut V2 and some banana scotch. Nice. Nice. This is Darth's. Nice. Hayden, you know that one. Yeah, it's the vape one. It's the gearbox. I sent it. it is. <laughs> is that the Aspire? Um, that is GT? The, the yeah. That's the GT. Yeah, the Aspire GT with North the gearbox. GT. It's a lovely mod. That uh, it is indeed. It's the gearbox by Vape Mons and the Nautilus GT by Aspire. <laughs> Craig says it's a rug. It's a rug. <laughs> you don't look like a rug. It looks more like a Vape mod. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Art Fox. This is. Finley Shaw, and it is the Night Fox with Art the Fox new with drop. The drop. Big drop. love, Finn. 1.5. Drop 1.5 that he bought on my recommendation. Can I just say, <coughs> professional reviewer? And that, you see that, that actual shop there out that window, that is directly around the corner from my house. That's great for any stalkers online tonight. I don't mind. They all know any, where I live. Any of you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Only now and again, May, Matt, uh, Matt Mannion. Mark Blizzard. Ooh. Oh, that's nice, that, isn't it? It's the... Um, I've got, got one of them. isn't it? Nope. No. No, it's not QB, can't be. What is it? That's a fine mod. It is. DNA 75C. Oh, nice. Ooh. And, and the Fitro with the lemon curd by the one and only Rochford Project. Beautiful liquid, is that? Be Be beautiful. It's... <laughs> Beautiful. Come on, Mark. We've got the Times Vape. And that's a Trishul, the other one. Trishul. Uh, Trishul. 
just you. It's the other one that I can't think what it is. The heavy hitter. Oh, yeah. It is indeed. Yes. Any idea on the drippers? Uh, one is the passage. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And the other one looks like the Equitus. Nope. It's not a Van de Veer one, is it? No, I can't. Is it? I There's a perfume imagine. named this. <laughs> it's the iconic. Ah. I thought you were going to say, I... come to me. It don't smell like come to me. So it's Mark H's with the Mark H is the heavy hitter with the passage RDA uh, with Krupp Clouds custard and the Trishal V2 with the iconic RDA and some corruption of the finest. <laughs> it's a bomb. It's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that one, one Christmas show. If anybody wants to go back to a Christmas show and you're talking about me, piss and me and my brother, we, me and my brother just had a conversation before the show, um, and he was right in the end. But uh, when we when we have a, a bit of a, a conversation, it does turn quite heated. So if you want to go back, go and watch look, um, three, not three men, fucking hell, Aiden. Um, last of summer vapes Christmas show about four years back. That was just one Christmas show. It got before the before this all this show started. I actually got serious, and one of them said, "Hey, I know where you live." <laughs> <laughs> he does his ear Friday. I am. It's the Voopoo. Is that the Argus? It's the Argus. It says yeah. it on the screen. You know, nibby little fucking thingy bit. <laughs> I can't see that. I've got stuff going across it. Do you know what the tank is? Um, big. Oh, it's a silver one. Yeah, correct. <laughs> there we go. It's Matt Mannion with the August GT and the Sakers tank and the Zeus Juice Midas. Mm-hmm. Does and anyone... He has actually got a question attached. Does anybody know why when I leave the mod for a while, uh, the wattage changes? Uh, possibly because you've got it on smart wattage rather than do it your own. Yeah. Ah, but on the picture, he's got it on rebuildable mode. Do you, nope. say that, do you say that again, what you've just said? Yeah, it could be, yeah. When he leaves it for a while, the wattage changes. Um, he shouldn't do on that because that's the RBA mode, so it should stay exactly as is. The only way it'll do that if it goes yellow, that's when it turns onto the smart wattage. Mm. I always get mixed up between blue and yellow on them. Yeah. yeah so Matt, it, 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 if you if it does change in R mode, let us know in Facebook group. If it's not in R mode, where it does it, it's because it's on smart mode. Yeah, if it's in yellow, then that means it's in smart mode. But as you've got it now, you've got it in the RBA section, so you can run it at whatever you want. But if you have it in yellow mode, it will change the um, it'll change the wattage. Neil Brooks. Oh, I like oh that. that's the nice. Barrel twenty twenty five, isn't it? Over Bronco. It's PWM version as well. <laughs> Neil Brooks, Squid Industries. Peacemaker XL on Squid Industries TAC21 with Johnny's Juice Vanilla Custard. Congratulations on the one of the show. Are they not defunct? No, they're, but they're back, they're back running again. They've got it. Yeah, know. I thought that's it, Bunny. I thought it was the TAC21. No, it's, it's, apparently they're back up and running again. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. That's good yeah. news. Paul Griffiths. The box. The yep. box. How did you get it? My black box. <laughs> Sarah Lou. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> I've got one of them. And I can't think what it's called. I'll give you a clue. It's from Does Limelight. It yeah. Is it from Limelight? <laughs> I've got a black one. It begins with B. Bollocks. I can't feel what he's called. He's, so, he's up there. Bunk. Is Sarah Lou's Limelight Bliss FLVR? <laughs> Big love, Sarah Lou. Dripping desert scotch butter custard on a forks fur cushion in the house somewhere in Derbyshire. See, Sarah Lou last week, she was in Sheffield. This week, she's in Derbyshire. She's, she's a top lass, is Sarah Lou. She's moving around. I'd be, more, I'd be more worried. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen that's, Jones. That's some stackage. That's got to be a steam crave. That is a steam crave, you can tell. Um, it's the uh, Supreme V... Is it the Supreme? Plus V2. Yeah. Plus V2. On top of a Dynamo Jewel 21700. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wesley Reed. Supreme? 
I'm going to take. No, a he's a plus V two. <laughs> I just thought we'd just keep the continuity in this show. <laughs> We've got to get it right this. eventually. <laughs> I'm take a guess of that being a geek bit. It, that that is a guess. It's the Age's Legend, obviously. It's Age's Legend with, I think, um, Hunk's, Hooked on Funk skin, custom major skin. No, I don't think so. No, it's just a limited one. edition, isn't it? Is it? Is it a limited edition? Yeah, it's limited edition. Well, one. don't worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. You can get skins like that from the wonderful Hooked on Funk. <laughs> get yourself no, on big, to the wonderful big, Instagram. Custom made stuff. I've been wanting to say this for ages and ages and ages. Steve, you make beautiful stuff. He does. Thank you very much. Absolutely. I'm, I'm I've been I've been saving up to buy one for I want I want like shelf thing. I've been saving up to buy one for ages. And I've got to tell you, your stuff is supremely artistic and beautiful. I've been dying to tell you that for months. How, how oh, long we had these, Mark? We got them at the same time, didn't we? You were the goat yeah. game in 2018. When 18. I and, and you've got to think this is used constantly. It's got juice all over it all the time and, and all sorts, and it's still going absolutely fantastic. Some okay. of the Atty stands are, are, are brilliant. Obviously, we all talk about the Thor Atty stand. It, it were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that was... Um, I've yet to top that one, to be honest. That just, but just I think that one is my... It's still my favourite, I think, just because of the sheer size of it. In the last 12 weeks, every time... I have saved up to come to you and say, right, I want a custom vape ape one. Either my house has blown up, my PC's blown up, the house has gone like, so every time, oh, for fuck's sake, all I want to do is buy one. These nightmares, but I've been, honestly, I've been appreciating your work for ages. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get over to the Facebook page, um, uh, Steve uh, Dillygaff at his stands. Dillygaff at his stands. Dillygaff at his stands, um, and you can go and order. Are you actually doing now custom ones still? or? No, I'm still doing customs, yeah. yeah. So if you've got something in your head that you wanted to do, I think you did. Did you do a Beetlejuice one, just? I've done, uh, I'm trying to think of ones I've done this year. Yeah, I uh, did a Beetlejuice one about three, four months ago. Um, I just finished two last week. One was uh, an LA Lakers and uh, a memorial kind of stand to, uh, what was his name? Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Basketball yeah. player. Yeah. And uh, Immortal Mods multi stand as well. So th th I finished those two last week. Those were a bloody nightmare. I just I, the, the etching just wasn't working out right for me, and the, two, the, and the two of them had been etched five times till I got it right. It was doing my fucking head in. If you haven't, if you haven't gone to check these out, please get over to that Facebook page. Just like Mister B said, and, and, and Mark and Ali will tell you exactly the same. They, they are one of a kind. Any time you get one, it is one of a kind. They mm. are totally uh, yes, again, if, man. He did do the Vix one. Yeah, yeah. Vix. Yeah, he did. He, in fact, you've done a few for Vic as well, haven't you? Yeah. You see them all the time in his video. It is art porn. That's what it is. It's beautiful. Truly beautiful. And, he, and even if, again, if you're not wanting a full set of like an Atty stand there, you've got the pistons in different sizes as well. Yeah. From... He's awesome. <laughs> and as well, lads, ladies and gentlemen, he is, he is a really nice bloke as well. Yeah, just oh, don't I see Thunder Bay. Yeah, he's yeah. a nice bloke at all. From that size upwards. Yeah, see, with my my big beefy hands, I, I like something big to grab hold of. Well, I've got um, I've actually got bigger than that. That's the the ones that I market as large ones. They're fifty one millimeters in diameter, but I've got ones I'm sure up to about sixty five millimeter that would probably fit your meat hook. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> really? Chat wants to know how much the pistons cost. Um, much money you got. Yeah. How long's a piece of string? <laughs> Again, if you get yourself over to the, please get yourself over to uh, the Facebook page and just give him a yeah. PM, and he, he'll explain it all to you of, of what the the entire price range is and and what everything you can actually get. Um, Anyone that is interested, if you scroll up slightly, Gary Bops has just banged the link in three times. Yeah, I mean you're looking at 18, 18 pounds for the large one. Um, and if you want your name on it, custom etched or whatever it is, it's, it's, it's a couple of pounds extra. That's about it. But they range from £12 upwards. That, that's incredible. 
And they're, they're absolutely brilliant. Obviously, me and you, Mark, we use them. I use it when I do my build videos Jesus, and everything. I've it, never stopped using it. Yeah, it's, they are really good. And they're just about the right height as well, aren't they? Perfect. They're yeah. absolutely bang on. No, they're absolutely right. brilliant. Hey, Finn, you'll have to get them to uh, maybe stock them in the, in the shop. That'd be good. I mean, the thing is, they're, 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 they're robust. That's the good thing about them. You knock, you knock it off the end of your desk, you just pick up, there's no damage done to it. No. They, so, they do look solid. Well, they're piston heads, they're proper piston heads. Yeah. Like, unbelievable. What a what See, the thing is, though, they're brilliant for just displaying your, uh, your RDAs, or they're actually brilliant for actually using to actually build on. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> get them like that as well. <laughs> That's actually really clever. <laughs> I like that. I, I think. I think to be honest, e even if they were thirty pounds, which is like way over the top, that's still bloody cheap for what they are. See, the, so the thing is, though, the amount of work I mean, that goes into them. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people have said to me, your your, your prices are too cheap. I said, no, they're not. This is this is the reason why I started to make them. I mean, I, I really only made them for myself and a few friends. Yeah, and. Um, it was Gail and my wife and Zan said, you know what, you, you've probably got something here that people will actually buy. So I started selling them. Mm. But the reason I sell them at the prices that I do sell them at is because not everyone can afford some of the yeah. you know, stab wood ones that are out there. Some of them can be pretty expensive, and these are relatively cheap. And I say the thing is, you drop it, you're not going to damage it. You just Absolutely. pick it back up, wipe it down, start again. You might break your foot if it drops on that, but you know, some of the bigger ones... Yeah, but I mean, as I say, that's 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 why I've kept my prices as low as I possibly can. Um, I really, and, and hand on heart, folks, I do not make a great deal of money on these because I'm not in it for that. I'm in it to give back to the vaping community. That's why. That's why I do it. No, but they are. They, 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 I tell you what, every time somebody puts about that, I never knew this existed. They call it E T S Y, and it's actually a site. And when everybody kept putting it, it in it, before, I thought they were all a nexity. <laughs> So he's, he's just put one on there. I've just shit one on ecstasy for 80 quid. I'm thinking, fucking hell, son. Sure it's ecstasy and not a fucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> he's been licking a frog. <laughs> it's pronounced ecstasy. Yeah. yeah. But every time they put it in, I just think they're on, I can't even say that proper, ecstasy. It's a bit like Domino. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, just while we're all still chatting, if you want to win yourself some, it's here, it's over here, uh, some wonderful... Bit of Rochford project. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've got a chance to do it. I'm going to put it in there. Put Rochford in. Put it in only once. It is open to um, the UK. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong one. It's open to the shit. You've done the wrong one as well. <laughs> yeah. It's open to the UK and all of Ireland, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That should be all working properly. Maybe not. What nice. happens, happens. It's the way it goes. So we have got the lads from the home service, which obviously minus the wonderful BFG. Um, lads, wh when's the show on? Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. We're having a day off. <laughs> you having a day off We're tomorrow? Live on a Thursday, seven thirty p.m. For roughly about an hour and a half, we took a load of rubbish, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> now, how many shows have you been going for now, Mark? Uh, the home service has now been going for roughly about three years, maybe a bit longer actually. Yeah, how many shows? How many shows? Uh, pass. I don't know. You must three. be about, about well, after, after the after me ninety ninth. I I I've stopped counting. See, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know if you want. See, Mark, <laughs> Mark, Mark first started, we were still doing the three, uh, sorry, uh, the last of the summer vapes, and he started it off as a um, sort of like a vlog thing. Um, and then he went off, basically, you were doing it on your own, your show to start off with on your own. Uh, and then you got um, Lethal in, didn't you? Lethal yeah, Coils yeah. came in. Um, and then BFG came in. I, I did a bit of a stint on there as well. Um, and then we've done 163 shows. 163 shows. Ooh. It's a lot of shows. That'd be, yeah, 163 of them. Yep. A lot of shows. <laughs> Here we go. Here we well, go. We, we rate Aiden cancelled shows. We, we'll catch up in six years. 
But well, you, 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 to, totally, absolutely right. I yeah, probably would do. We see before this show. See, just after he started his, we did um, the late, va- the late, late vape show um, with Mister, me and Mister Coily, which we did about, I think we did about forty, fifty of them as well. Yeah, because so, mine originally just started. Up, the, the, the whole plan of the own service was to do like a vlog, like Grim Green used to do. The whole idea was doing it like that. So the first couple of ones, I did that, and it took me that long to blooming edit it all together for a 30 minute, and it was only 30 minutes, and it was like, it took me hours to actually edit all the bits together. And I thought, I might as well just go live. <laughs> it's going to be quicker. <laughs> and that's how it all, all started. And then obviously I did it for a while on my own, and then I got to Chris uh, from Lethal Coils in. Uh, he stayed for us for about, a year, year and a half, and then obviously I got um, BFG in because we was doing the Tales from the Home on the Sunday, and then we got Betty in as well, and it's been it's it's doing hell ever since. Hmm? Did, didn't didn't um, uh, BFG come on to Home Service first before Tales at Home? No, we came on Tales at Home. We did Tales from the Home originally, and that was a, originally was going to be just a podcast. Podcast, yeah. Then you changed it. I think you came and on then, um, our show and announced it, didn't you? Yeah. And it was uh, just a podcast, and we was doing quite well on the podcast. It still is a podcast uh, out there uh, in podcast land. But obviously, what with work and things like that, I was working Sunday, so we had to cut that back. And then obviously, by the same amount of time, he moved over onto the home service. I I think a lot of people, uh, I know you did, Ali, a lot of people loved that Sunday show because it was a little, I know you brought it a little bit more into your Thursday show, but it was, it was just about anything, it was just laid back, um, and I think a lot of people missed that on a a Sunday afternoon. It was a good time as well, one of them times where, like I said, because I'm far too busy to remember, it's remembering that shows are on, so at Misfits I usually catch, but at that time of night I'm getting everything ready for tomorrow and stuff. But the, the the tales from my home, I'd get the notification. Just, it always just happened to be at a time that I was just like, right, what should I start doing now? And that's a perfect time to get me to do something because now I kind of go, oh, I'll do that. So it would just quick pop it up in browser, carry on working. Um, so I think I've watched more more of the tales of my home than I have any other show. Mm. It was a cracking little show. Well, it's what we tried to do with, on the home service. We, there's, there's that many vape shows out there. I mean, we talk a little bit about vaping, but we also talk about old stuff. It's three middle-aged blokes talking about things that we used to do when we were kids, what films we used to be into, what movies, that that kind of stuff, what music and all that. And we, we just wanted to blend it instead of just being purely about vaping. Well, that, we try- that was the idea about it. We try and uh, talk about vaping, don't we, Adam? But we, we end up going on tangents like finding dead people and stuff. It's- <laughs> the thing is, that, that, that's, what, that's what works so hardly. I mean, there, there is, I think the way things are going at the moment, that, that there's only so much you can talk about vaping, mm. and you and you need other things just to fill that space up. So, I mean, the, the Thursday night show, we just end up talking about everything. Mm. Yeah, I, that, we, we we take our lead from chat as well. Chat will start off. I mean, we'll maybe they start off on the subject, and then something will appear in chat. And then it just goes haywire after that. But it's, yeah. it's, the, the hour and a half that we do just flies in. I think the good thing about uh, the Ohm shows as well, <coughs> is it, same as what I think about Three and a Half, uh, three and a half Men, Three Men and the Vape Show, is Ohm show's got that nice mix of people that you all work well together and it, it just works, if you know what I mean. It's really <laughs> easy to watch. You're not kind of trying to watch it. It just happens. You find yourself engrossed yeah. and chilled out. I mean, all three of us are similar kind of age. And we've all similar kind of interests as well. So like we kind of like the same kind of music. We like I'm the, the youngest. Similar. Yeah, you are the youngest, aren't you? You're the baby. <laughs> Jungle weed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it's half seven and it's just before the UK Vape Show, which is coming back this week. I know we said that last week, but Adam had to do it. It's just before the the uh, UK vape show, so you've got that to tune in just before that. Yeah, we're the Fluff Channel. The Fluff. Well, we actually, just before we finish it, uh, five, five to uh, nine, we actually do Fluff. I've seen it. I've seen it. 
No. We, we, do any... we do tickle Victor's oh, throat for about five seconds. I haven't got any. Don't do it. For the love of God. <laughs> Mr. B is going to get covered in something. No, 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 for fuck's sake. <laughs> God, for, will you please piss off? <laughs> it's like a 90s TV show. It's brilliant. Just randomly, she comes and squirts. Fucking wonderful. <laughs> it's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I think what he did. I think what he did. Oh. What, what's in your mouth, Mr. B? Please explain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What does it taste like? <laughs> um, there's a fucking shampoo. What, what, sort, what sort of texture has it got? <laughs> and can I, can you only, it? I can only imagine this is what frozen sperm would feel like. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call fantasy and reality. <laughs> See, so like we were saying, we are a real, um, we're, we're really serious and committed to talking about vapes. So, yeah, you're right about the second part. You need fucking committed. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'll tell you what, don't look at it. Who do you think's won the giveaway? Liz. Now, yeah, Liz Koval K has won. <laughs> Yeah, Liz. She's, she's on a roll this week. She's on a roll for fucking last six years. Well done, Liz. That is ripening last week because she didn't win on our show. Oh, Jesus Christ, she's won more Rochford. <laughs> oh, well done, Liz. Big love. You know what to do. Get in touch with me. It is run at random, ladies and gentlemen. We can't do anything about it. But Liz is lovely. So, Liz, you have won, sweetheart. Um, get in. <laughs> I won, yay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. B, that's, I'll tell you what as well. She, she squirted you early. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bulldog's chewing a wasp. It'd be a right shame if she came back at end of show as well. Yeah, that would be right annoying. AJ, hey, look, she's there. She, she's in it. She can win it. That's the thing. We've got the Oxford giveaway, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit later on. Don't forget also in the corner, you've got your 15% off while the show is for the wonderful Rochford Project. So I'll tell you what, do you think we should do a, a little bit of tech? I think we should do a little bit of tech. Shall we? Shall we do deals? I think we should do deals. Just I, 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 think he's, I think he's a bit <laughs> sticky at the minute. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Harley's Tech Report. Here, it's Harley's Tech Report. So I'm, I'm, I'm nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. What is it's it's all there, sorry. Yeah, he's everywhere. I take two bottles into the shower when you can take one. <laughs> <laughs> you well, take a, bo a whole bottle of shampoo on me. A whole bottle. <laughs> oh, I think it's a shower as well. Fuck's sake, woman. So I'm this is the wait another month. <laughs> This is the Aspire Puck X. And you may be wondering, well, that's not new. But it is new because you'll be thinking about the Puck X stick. Yeah. And this is an AOI box. Well, I think, does anyone know? I think the last Puck X were like four or five years ago, weren't it? Well, no, they, they actually released one about seven months ago, which was the anniversary, anniversary one. They, they, one right. they sort of like updated it a little tiny bit. But this is obviously totally different. This has uh, got an inbuilt battery, hasn't it? It has. You asked and we listened. Yeah. See, there's the original look, little stick thing. Um, and there you go. He, he's got, he, he's still MTL, really, if, if we think about it. AOR, -O -A -O, all in one, which I never believe all in ones, but generally one way or other, aren't they? But it's got adjustable airflow for you. It's got top slide fill, which is nice, I suppose. There is something that's right concerning about this phone. We'll get onto it in a minute. As Aiden has just said, it's got a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, charges by US, USB C, two amps. So it should only take about an hour to charge ish. Yeah. Uh, battery light indicator. So it's a nice, simple device to use. Vary its colours. I'm not keen on most of them, to be fair. I think they all look a bit. I'd rank. have a bit of black. You've said that before, haven't you? But the, see, that's what I weren't keen on it. I was thinking it had a 510. And then I thought, well, it showed, oh, it's a, a pod. But it doesn't seem to be either. It seems to be built in. It's an all-in-one. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, it's built in. It's, yeah, it's one of them where the glass is connected. I hate stuff like that. Yeah, it, it really pissed me off, that did. 
Yeah. It does you as well, doesn't it, Mark? They're not. I hate it. I yes. hate it when they do the Jekyll and Hyde thing. But yeah. surely that it'd be interesting changing McCoyle because he's got top airflow. So I, I don't. Big love, Les. Was... I don't understand how it'd work in regards to changing McCoyle with a juice full of tank. A tank full of juice. Full of tank. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Think, to be honest, you'd just, you wouldn't change it on its side, would you? You'd stand it up straight so the juice can stay in the glass. Yeah, well, yeah. what you'll also find is that the um, the coil itself will slightly protrude. Are these yeah. the same um, coils from the original Pock X? It looks like it, doesn't it? It did say so. I think. It's using the original, replaceable coils. The original Pock X had the... Um, so I've got it here. They look very, very similar. Yeah, it's the it's the same ones. Yeah. It's a Poc X one, the Aspire Poc X uh, 1.2 ohm you can get as well. Yeah, it's 1.2 ohm, so it's the same. Mm. It's stainless steel, two mil capacitor. Uh, no, the mod itself is plastic, sorry, which is nice. <laughs> the tank section is stainless steel. So there you go, it's, yeah. Now we've got a Van Der Vee mod. Oh, God. Apparently, okay, according to EasyClick, it's very much like the... No, never mind. It is the Pulse V2. Yeah. <laughs> I quite like the designs. Again, it'll be Jekyll and Hyde. I mean, covers. You'll have your lovely design on one side and boring on the other yeah, side. Yeah, a little bit like the uh, what you call it, um, Free Max. Yeah, it's PCBA waterproof. So if anyone doesn't know what that means, it means the what the device itself's not waterproof. The motherboard is. Mm. Um, which so I think I, I don't understand why every vape pack got that because ninety nine percent of the time that the vapes break if it hadn't been dropped is by juice burning the motherboard out. So why on earth haven't they all got PCBA waterproof? And there's not really much changing from that, from what I've seen. It's very much same as the Pulse and the Gore. It, there's, there's nothing that really caught my eye as a change. It's 21700 down to 18650, as you'd expect. It's got the Requiem RDA. Requiem. Which... Requiem. Which ever since we brought that out, they've been pushing it like high up. I really like that. It's a really good RDA. A bit of info on that as well. Some other people didn't like it um, when they, when they did it. It's, it's got different. It's got three different airflow inserts. The 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 coil itself is quite flat to the deck, but it is really nice single coil RDA. It's it's a good RDA for squonking, not drilling. Mm. Oh, I'd it drip on it. I've got no problem. Because the actual juice wells, are re as you look at it, are really, really deep. <coughs> as long as you don't overpack them juice wells, then that... The problem is with me, since the top side, I, I, it makes me know for every other squonker redundant, really. Yeah, there is a few other ones. Instead of, obviously, I'm to unscrew your top, you've got a lot of these now where you can push... To the side, yeah. you know, like you did with the. Um, yeah, but I think this, this, the pulse two is still sort of like harping back to the original pulse. Yeah. Except obviously you can have a twenty one seven hundred, and that's about it. The, the original pulse you can still pick up for a fiver. Yeah. It's five watt. Oh no, it's not. Here it is. It's five watt to ninety five watt. No point, no five ohms to three ohms. Me. Yeah. I like it. I don't think it's anything new and innovating, but I do like it. I think that'll end up in the uh, bargain bin quite quickly. Yeah. I really yeah, do. Well, I think you've probably got do, bro. three months on that, if that. Did, did you say I think he's flogging a dead horse now? Yeah. I don't think that's got his name on it. Uh, has it has well, it did rate at the very start. It, 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 did it? Because oh, the last one that was there, he never put his name on it. A 20B project. Mm. El Mono Vepadore. Right, so this one, I'm pretty sure I had this on a previous one, but I couldn't find it in my trash can, so I've put it on again. So if I have had it on, I'm really sorry. Yeah, we, sh we showed it last week. Are you yes. sure? Yeah, I showed it. 
Yes. Well, I want to try it, but it don't look exactly pretty. I tell you what, Mark, the, the, it's a flavour banger. Mm. The flavour from that is absolutely corking. I, I can see a problem with that for people like me. And I'll tell you for why. If we just go back, go back to the airflow one, any RDA with an airflow like that always, always burns my chin every single time. Well, we're not going to suck it, not blow it. No, no, because I've I've always micro purged. Always, yeah. as soon as soon as your mouth hits that drip tip or whatever, there's a little bit of backwards pressure that pushes the hot vape out before you before you inhale. Yeah, but and, yeah, yeah the airflow to the sides. You think you'll have lovely glowing cheeks? I guarantee. I guarantee the look healthy. I'm not healthy. Your face. I'm, I'm a you know I'm a picture of health. But the the, <laughs> the thing is, every time the Airflow is right at the top. It always burns my chin. Did it on the dead rabbit. Did it on this. Did it on the requiem. All of them. Yeah, but one, I say you should have the airflow to the side. Come on, amateur. But second of all, don't you think that it's pointed down slightly? It's kind of protected by yeah. the top. I've, I've had none of that. It depends where it's fucking screwed into. Never mind fucking amateur bullshit. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, the, my, my main point is, don't you think via it looks like it's pointed more down? Yeah, it it's, it's got. It's literally. Yeah, it, 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 it does down. That's why I said caveat. That's why I said people like me, because when you've got a face the size of a fucking <laughs> beach ball, yeah, it doesn't matter what, how pointed down it is. Yeah, you get more chins than a Chinese phone book. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when, when they ask me to put the, my bloody mask over my chin, I ask them which chin are they talking about. The the, the, wor the worst thing about it is it is the drip tip is very very thin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they did that with the original lips. Zeus, didn't they on RTA? Many lips. Yeah, it's very very thin, but it's it's caught really. Re I can't say how good the flavour is. It's really really good flavour. It's a, a little bit and it's flu um, fluid airflow as well. A little bit like how the uh, Tallow X was. Mm. I've heard a lot of good reports about it, especially yeah. with flavour. Yeah, flavour's cooking. I'm, I'm just intrigued. It was, it was the picture there showing you cutting the, the, the legs off the coils at the bottom there. Yeah, underneath. That yeah, is, that's a bit exaggerated. That, that's not going to fucking work. There's no not, way that's going to work. Not as well as we're suggesting it. No. They're small snips, aren't they? I mean, look at the size and thickness of that coil. No, no, <laughs> I, no, I did exactly the same. There were no problem at all. Did you cut the cut okay? Yeah, quite okay, fine. There were no problem. You know. Why is you that? can do it with the original, can't you, RTA? But he's really tight in there. But there Next no, up. There were no problem at all. <laughs> Next up, we've got something completely different to what you were using. Like this. Oh, I like yeah. this. oh, that's nice, isn't it? The that converter. Is it's yeah. the Ambition Converter. That is now on my shopping list. I like that. So I didn't quite fully get to grips with it, but... You can buy, there's three different sets you can buy. And the entire point is you can have it as a tube or you can have it as a side-by-side. -side. Let us know in chat if you like that, if you like that idea of having different types. Bro, what do you think? I like it, but I wish they'd gone on for 21s, 700s. Do you think they'll bring another tube out so you could do that? No, because of the uh, size of it. <clears throat> My only problem right now is that all my vapes taste like fucking shampoo. <laughs> Me personally, I can't understand why. Why would you want to go back down to an eighteen three fifty? Why? You wouldn't. Well, I, I, I mentioned. Don't, I don't. I mean, I appreciate the, the design and everything, but let's face it: you go down to an eighteen three fifty, you've got to have a single coil. Uh, RDA on there. You definitely mouth to lung in it. Yeah, it's mouth to lung in it. It's going to be like a one point three yeah. and one point six. But did somebody? I'm sure I heard somebody saying that eighteen three fifties are quite difficult to get a hold of these days. Yeah, they're not easy to get hold of now. But why would you want an eighteen three fifty? I just don't get the, the reason for it. I mean, all right, you're talking about small compact size. Yeah, I understand that. But an eighteen three fifty. Let me make I struggle with 18650s with a battery life. Nigel Brooks says it's shame again, it's 21, not a 21700, it is. Yeah. It's still a shame. What, what is going on with the market with these seemingly moving away from 21700s? Well, I, I don't think they've ever moved to 21700s. That's the problem. They've, they've always, that's what I mean. It's always been 18650s. It's, I, I, it, 
We, I think we, 18650s have been used that long. I mean, obviously, they designed the 2700 and the 21700 actually for vaping. But for some reason, the industry just keeps on bringing out 18650s. We, we've been saying this, Mark, haven't we, for what? For the last two, three years of, yeah. of, of the, the let's move to 21700s. And the, 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 the actual weight of mods are no different. No. I mean, blooming out. This is a dual uh, 21700. For the gloss, the gloss is hardly massive. Hmm? That's a single 21700. Yeah. yeah I, I do think there are a big surge in 2020 of more coming out. And, and I did say before, there's no reason, because somebody said, I don't know if it were you, Aidan, or Flight Cap, but some, one of you said they might be scared to lose clientele. But I don't understand why you would be, because they all come with 18650 converters anyway. Mm. So it's not as if people that don't want to use 21700s can't use it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But like I say, it comes with free packages, well, well, one of three packages, depending which one you buy. Package one, you get the entire kit. Package two, you just get the converter bit, which I don't really see <laughs> point in. And then... Get together. Fuck that shit. Package three, you, you just get the tube, which obviously then you need that as well. I, I, no. I, no I, I wouldn't trust an 18350. You wouldn't trust... Just on, just on the amp limits. The thing I am... Why did, they, why did they not just sell it as a complete kit? Because you know uh, how that's not going to sell. Yeah. Sell it as a complete kit, then everybody's got everything, and just use it like a Swiss Army knife. That's, that's I what, think I what they've done with that, to be honest with you, is they have narrowed their um, audience, really have. Well, if you look at that, that is pretty much exactly what the Vemos were going back eight years ago. Mm. The Vemo V2, Vemo V3, they all had the 18350, 18650 conversion thing. So you you are really are going back half a decade. Yeah. No apparent reason because they could still do a conversion kit without making it 18350. Mm. Don't they? So it's very strange. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got 101 people out there watching. We've only got 41 likes. Stick that thumbs up. We'll be doing your Oxford giveaway in a second. Stick that thumbs up. 102. Come on, you lot. All right, bastards, go on. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up. I've just been for a win. Nobody noticed. No, we did. Arlie quickly put his screen back on. Oh. I, said some, I said some horrible <laughs> things about it. I don't mind that. I quite like being spoke about. Um, we are going a little bit late to time, but don't worry about it. Uh, I spoke to Benny Vapes. So we can move on a little bit more. We are going to do your deals of the week. And I've got to play this bumper. Yay. I absolutely love this bumper because it is my favourite bumper. A message from Deep. Within the jungle. I've searched high and low for a lot of the deals. So here from Vapep, deals of the week. Ching ching, deals of the week. Right. So I've, I've got to round your head off. You've got to round my head. How much more round do you want it to be? Any any rounder, I could use myself as a fucking weeble. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong end. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you never know. Right, folks, I've got some proper deals for you this week. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready for this? I'm not. One sec. Uh, right. <laughs> he's got a new computer as well. He's all excited, isn't he? Look at him. He's... <laughs> <laughs> he's got shampoo all over his balls. Right, we're in. We're in. Shut the fuck up. We're in. Right, starting off, we've got from our friends at ESIG1, check is in the post, the damn vape intense mesh. MTL RDA was twenty six ninety nine. Now seven pounds and ninety nine pence. You can have it in gorgeous stainless steel or moody blue. You choose. Next up, we have the SX Mini MI Class oh. Pod System. Do you know someone who is quitting smoking or thinking about it? Well, buy them. Buy, it, buy this and sell it to them for fifteen quid and laugh. I don't so, feel like I'm watching Bullseye. No, <laughs> 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 you could have won a speedball to Jewsbury. No, you could have won. <laughs> and it's step up to the Mr. B. You get it in gunmetal tang. You get it in black tang. You get it in blue. No, it's not blue. It's royal blue. It's not blue tang. Champagne tank silver or black tang, but there's only five of them left. So there you go. That's a nice quick one. On the next one 
is a bit of a piss taker. It is, of course, the Roto 4 Trollex RTA. Was $34.99, now £16.99. Pence, you get it in black, you get it in stainless steel, you get it in moody blue, you get it in some other blue, and you get it in princess gold. So there you go, that is the Warthor 4 Troll XRT. Now the next one, folks, is a cracker. Boys, grab your chubbies, girls, get ready for hard nipples. Here we go. The, <laughs> who are you laughing at, you? This is the... I've got hard nipples. <laughs> it's the Vandy... I'm so aroused. <laughs> the Vandy Vape Paradox Bottom Feeding RDA. But there is only one left, so one of you can get it for just £4.99. That's a good deal. That is a cracking deal. Look, you can almost see, or just almost... In fact, you can't see fuck all there, of course you can. <laughs> Fucking stupid dickheads over at JFD, our friends. This is, you, I have actually bought some of JFD before it's come up fine, so I have tested this supplier. For £4.99, pence. it's worth it just for the drip tip. So there you go, folks. That is the Vandy Vape Paradox Bottom Feeding RDA for £4.99. And so that is your Deals of the Week. <laughs> Well done, brother. That was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it, it, it makes me every time it makes me giggle on that. It's funny as hell. Right, let's jump. We've still got 100 odd people in there, only 57 likes. Get them in there. We will be doing your giveaway for the wonderful Rochford project. I'm going to sort this out properly because I messed it all up last time. So I am going to uh, make it right, as, as you always do. Right, While he's messing this up, the, uh, there is a new SX Mini <coughs> MK Pro coming out as well, Podkit. So anyone that is interested in the SK, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, SX Minis, there is a new one on the way. To be fair, Steve was right in his shit. That's why I suggested buying it and selling it to the profit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, put Oxford in there for your giveaway. Uh, I think it is for a solo and oh, also really? loads of wonderful other little bits and bobs. Don't forget to press them thumbs up. Um, I'm not quite sure it's what we're actually at. The Oxford giveaway, Bonnie. The Oxford giveaway. It is the Oxford giveaway. Just send it to Liz. Look, yeah, send it to Liz. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I sorry Bunny, I probably said it wrong, sweetheart. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Bunny, Bunny Miss heard you. <laughs> She's with me. She's with me. Bunny's always with me. I'm just waiting. Hey, for do you know as well? We're, we're running over time. It's nine o'clock. I, I always feel a little bit thingy because obviously Benny Vapes is on now, and I always want to go. But he says, "Don't worry about it." Send me a nice little message and said, "Don't worry about it. You go as long as you want to go." It's quite nice for me, isn't it? The man has sense. The man has sense. <laughs> so you're not on this week, then, Mark. Uh, but you'll be back the week after. I certainly will, yeah. And uh, obviously the scoop of the show is that you're going to be maybe bringing back the home service on a Sunday. Well, it'll be tales from the home. That's what I meant. Mm, that's right. Ingevar, I hope I pronounced it right, Ingevar M. Logan would like to know if it ships to Norway. No, it's, it's only for uh, UK and Ireland only. I think I'm going to have a little word with Simon because I can't understand why they can't ship to Europe because it's coming from Europe. Exactly. Ingo, do you know anyone in the UK? If you do, we'll ship it to them and they can ship it to you. That, that could be done. That, that could be done. Look off! Fuck a minute, gang! For God's sake, woman! I've just drowned myself off from the last time! There's a. I'm just, fuck it. Oh, now you pull me into that, for fuck's sake! God damn it, woman! <laughs> and the best thing, do you know what's really horrible as well? We haven't even got a spit. <laughs> it just looks like a sheep. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking off to drown myself off again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> Obviously, every week, ladies and gentlemen, we is going to get covered in different stuff. So, if you could please put in the comments any other stuff you'd like to get him covered in, and uh, not we'll... dimestos. <laughs> no, no, don't do bleach or sulfuric acid or anything like that. Nothing flammable. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, all right, uh, Mr. B. I don't want any pegs. He does, he looks like what I want. <laughs> this is your fault, this, for encouraging my wife. <sighs> I bet you look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. 
I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. Oh, Adam Stone's is mayonnaise. Oh, no, no, I think oh, can you imagine him in mayonnaise? No, stop oh, it. That that that'd be good. We're going to do that. Sam next week is going to be covered in mayonnaise. Honey, <laughs> no, I'm fuck off the honey. <laughs> I'm Purple dye. Oh, which needs to be. Oh, there's that. there's lots of stuff coming in chat now. You're going to be covered in all sorts, dude. It's, it's when I did Wait, the. I said, I'm done. I'm done. Bye. What's okay. You're going to be did... covered in absolutely all sorts. Yeah, it's when I, it's when I did the red food colouring on the home service a few weeks back. She needs to put something out on. That's a. I'm I'm buying a lot for me door. I'm not being funny. Bill Richards has got an order and he wants you to get covered in fucking KFC gravy. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Well, been... What would be really funny is if he locked his door, but without him knowing, she drilled an hole in the top of the roof with a ceiling above him so she could stand it up beside squirting him through. Why something off Chap of Quidditch? Piss off. <laughs> Lynn Hayes says, um, we want some veggie mic. Good for dieting as well. <laughs> yeah, but you're not supposed to rub it on you, are you? Fucking hell. Oh, I think that's a good idea. I think as well, maybe you should actually get your own back and fill the super soaker up with KFC gravy. <laughs> Is it me, Mark? Do you think KFC? Or is it? When was the last time you had a KFC, Mark? Uh, about three months ago. Is it me, or do they not make the gravy the same? They don't make gravy the same, no lad. They don't. And it, and it, it all depends on how busy they are as well, because some of it's like piss water, and then sometimes it comes too thick. Yeah, we we had it um, literally about three months ago. Did Fernie go here? Runny as well. Instead yeah. of that really nice thick and. No, right, Ronnie. Even Jan took it back and says it's not right, this. Apparently, they make it in house, so it does vary from which branch you go to. And it also varies if you go into a franchise or not. Yeah, if it's like a like their owner of a franchise. Yeah, because they, they can use different recipes. We've got 50 eligible users. If anybody wants to get in there, make sure you put Oxford. Big shout out to Oxford as well for the giveaway. Also, the wonderful people at uh, the Rochford Project. And also, we can't forget our wonderful people at Vaporholics. Get yourself over there. Just down below, there is a percentage off code. And don't forget, proper, proper coils, 10% off. If you use little bro vapes 10. You can buy the gravy powder. See... Obviously, Gailey Bops, you know, and Mark, you know, and uh, we, if you go to um, to an expo, Andy, UK Andy, used to get a bit of uh, the old KFC chicken, didn't he? He did. We don't know where he got it from, but he used to get it. <laughs> Saying that, our lass is pretty good at making a KF uh, gravy. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's one of them gravies. It's that really good, a really nice KFC-style gravy. I wouldn't say it's exactly the same, but it's near enough. Jules, See, I, I know that we come in our lane. I only go to KFC when they do that stupid offer for like thirty pieces of like chicken for like ten quid. That's the only time I'll ever go. Talking about KFC, I'd love a proper southern fried chicken. You know how they make it in the in America. Side. Yeah, I'd love to try the proper Kentucky fried chicken, like Mama used to make. Like Mama <laughs> used to make. <laughs> He's We're going to roll this, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner is... Uh, Lone Mar this is one of yours, isn't it? Uh, uh, Mr. V. Lone <laughs> Marine Chico's. Chico! Chico, well done, brother. Yeah, bro. You will, mate, get in touch. Little bro vapes. And we will get that sent out to you, brother. Chico! Is a good lad, Chico. Make some fracking coils. Not the sponsor. <laughs> there you go, brother. Get in touch with that email and we will sort that out for you. Well done, everybody. Don't forget, next week we are back with another one of our Rochford Project giveaways. It's the 100th show next week, isn't it? The 100th show. The next week, ladies and gentlemen, we've got something nice and special for you. There's going to be all the casters um, from Three Men and a Vape Show. So you're going to have Mr. Coyley's here next week. Salford Vapor. Awesome. We've got the one and only Flat Cat Vapor and us three all next week. It's the 100th show. It is going to be absolutely amazing and a good damn giggle. And we will Come be going a little bit over time as well. Come back to see what other shit's fucking thrown on me. I stink. This is horrible. Surely if you've got loads of like washing up liquid on you, it'd smell better. 
Jules been... said flour and water because it dries like cum. Will you piss off giving me I- my wife ideas? I thought she was running about gravy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is horrible. It's bum shampoo. It's bum gonna... shampoo? He's Dumb. 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 <laughs> 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 Mark, did you think he said it's bum shampoo? <laughs> Here you go, this week's clanger remover. Oh, don't get me started on that. Do you know, the district nurse came back to me yesterday and took another picture of my arse. Oh, again? The, second, the second time in a row. I think now she either fancies me or it's a, it's, it's a joke. It's a piss take, really. She's going back to me. I'm going to fucking bend over again. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is, man. There's, oh. there's now two pictures of my arse in the NHS system. We need them pictures. You think it's probably on grinder. <laughs> <laughs> it probably needs a grinder. <laughs> we need we need them pictures to make the 100 oh. icon. We can use Mr. Bees as the O's. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> big O, mate. <laughs> You've only got so much room on page. It's a big 100, thank you very much. <laughs> that must be, I tell you what, that, mu- that must be one. Of, Mark, can you imagine that? Even me bending over, or you bending over, or even Stevie, that must be one of the most fucking horriblest things. Because what do you yes. think of while you're doing it? <laughs> All I was thinking was, well, last week I was a bit shocked. This week it was more curiosity. Like you really want me to do it again? We don't traumatize last week. Mm, all right, fine, go for it. it was, you know, it can be really funny. Well, oh, this works in because who's shit camera they're using or just the phone? No, it's one of those iPad jobs. <laughs> Oh, they're using the phone. <laughs> no, they're using the fucking eight foot fucking iPad. Mark, it's about that big. You could use it. You have all lights and everything. Yeah, you could use it as a screen at Glastonbury. <laughs> These are filmed in Panavision. That that takes me back to high school. Does that? There were once we all sat in art class, and the 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 job was to draw the person next to you. After half an hour, the teacher comes around to the guy sat next to me, and he's got fuck all on his page, and she goes, "I, I can't remember to say his name is Matthew. Matthew, you know, you're supposed to be drawing Michael. Because I can't miss." She goes, why can't you? He goes, I don't have enough paper. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck off. And by the way, I've just set your fucking lunch, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to go chippy. Next <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I was the same as you. They used to nick my dinner money and buy a bike. <laughs> so when she would take a photo of your ass, what was she saying? Smile. <laughs> you know, work it, baby. Work it. Work it. <laughs> work it. <laughs> I think she was just in awe of the spectacle in front of her. She wasn't really saying, oh, probably she was thinking, please don't fart. One of the two. Do you know if she comes back next week? Yeah, it's five pound a picture. <laughs> the, the, the best thing about it, you must be, honestly, just I, I'd tell her to fuck off eventually. Say, listen to me, if you want me to sign a disclaimer, I've got no sorts. I'm fucking fine. You, you can't just keep taking pictures of me rectum. Well, apparently they have to to make sure that they've done the job correctly. Can you send me that one back to your boss? Look, I've done it. What are you getting getting checked out by fucking Stevie Wonder? You you can fucking tell, surely. Well, no, because they have to take photographic evidence to prove they've done the job. (laughs) But they've never done it until last week. I think she's having your... Last week was the first time I've ever had a district nurse round. That'd be fucking great as well if she were blind and she's going, Humpty Dumpty sat on (laughs) her. We've said this before. If I fall off the wall, the makes me. Do you know if I fell off a wall, I'd get that special bloke who went woo woo woo, and he wants even the ambulance. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd just get oh, <laughs> kicked off the wall going fuck that. That that's to be honest with you. That's it's, it's got to be one of the most upsetting things. That even just like just getting yourself ready. Yeah. Well, the thing, like I said, the first time was a shock. The second time was like really again. Okay. Mark, I've never asked you this, but have, have you had your prostrate done yet? No. Me neither. He, see, Mark's oh. a little bit older than me. He's eight years older than me, so he's like in his 50s. Oh. So, I, I no, I'm, I'm, I'm not in my 50s, I'm 50. Yeah, but it's past January, so you're in your 50s. I, I'm just 50. You've started. No, you're not. It's fucking July. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just... You're halfway to 51. No, I'm not. Is any special you started your fifties, mate. You, just like when you start a race, you've started your fifties. 
You racing till you're dead. Is that, that, that's the one that... Let me just enjoy it. I'm 50. Do you know what happened? I turned 50 in January, on January 24th. By the 3rd of February, I'm getting blooming I over 50s life planned through like, a box. Hey, <laughs> just, right, just, just, at least you're going to get loads of plens, uh, plens? Pens. Pens. <laughs> pens. You're going to get loads of pens in a little clock, you know, like my dad used to get from Pit, you know? <laughs> And a Literally, pressure, honestly, pressure. it was February the 3rd. I got a letter through over 50 plans. <laughs> From the brass. <laughs> <I'm not blasted. laughs> it, but it's, it's normally like two weeks before your 50th birthday, you get that thing through from the NHS for, was it, bowel cancer screen, and you're like, what the fucking hell is this? I can't but wait for the day that. when my doctor says I need to check your prostate because I'm going to turn up and he's going to look at me and go, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you sat there with your cow's glove on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, James Harriet. <laughs> He's going to be like Captain Scott. He's going to say to this, if I'm not back in an hour. <laughs> Warm salad. You don't need a doctor. You need a fucking vet. <laughs> Somebody tie a board to me ass case of fucking falling. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Now I know how Zippy felt. <laughs> No, I'm just saying it's, it's something that I, I'm really not fucking looking forward to, that. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, no. My mind's got tattooed on back, exit only. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like I told you that, that, that story, well, didn't I told you about that bloke who says, uh, he went to the docks, he says, uh, I've got a really <laughs> sore bum. He says, Where, where's it sore? He says, all the way around the entrance. He says, well, you call it an entrance, that's why it's going to be sore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's what he said. Uh, but yeah, no, it's the. I really am not looking for that part of my life. Just talking about it, my arse is clenching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you imagine when I turn up, mate? It's not a camera we need, it's a fucking DSLR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with <laughs> wide angle. Telescope. <laughs> Stevie, have you had it yet? What? The prostate examinated. Uh, I've been getting my prostate checked since my early 30s. You enjoyed that much? <laughs> no, it's uh, I took what they call prostatitis when I was in my 30s. And they said it's, it's it's quite young for somebody my age to actually take that. So mine gets checked on a regular basis. It's when your prostate turns from a donut to a fucking bagel. Uh, all joking apart, ladies and gentlemen, obviously we did the stuff for the uh, prostate cancer and stuff like that. Please mm. make sure that if you have any, yeah. any problems at all, hey, you do go and get yourself checked. Guys out there, I've, I've got a friend of mine who got in touch with me two weeks ago to order to get some juice from me. And um, he's actually went through the operation. Um, his, is, his is now gone. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer about 18 months ago. Um, he's doing well. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, there's just certain things he, can't, he can no longer do. But please, guys, don't <clears throat> please don't feel embarrassed about it. Go get it checked because it is the biggest killer for men in the UK. Yeah, uh, one every forty-five minutes, somebody dies of prostate cancer. And the thing about it, it gets worse, doesn't it? With the it's something that happens with the prostate <laughs> as well. It, it, as you get older, that that's what happens, isn't it? All the way up into you, to you pass away. Yeah, it just gets bigger. Yeah, my man's been doing that since birth. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not great. No, it isn't. No, it's not great. Especially when you have to walk five miles for it. Levin, Levin, I, I tell you what, I said I was going to carry on doing that. I mean, Lou, I haven't done it. I should have carried on doing it. I have to do it now, obviously. Now I've got... Uh, I've not. See, Mark's got um, diabetes. I ain't got it as bad as him. You're, you're now gone to... Uh, you're having to have in injections now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not on uh, insulin. I'm on uh, Vic Tozer at the present moment. But it looks like I'll be going on to insulin. I had a phone call today. Not good. And I eat like a nun. And I, when I say I eat like a nun, I genuinely do eat like a nun. I don't, I mean, uh, have takeaways and things like that and cheap, so. If anybody else in chat as well, yeah. it, 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 the same. I, it's sort of like med me like that. And you're constantly looking at stuff, aren't you? Oh, God, yeah. I'm going to a supermarket is terrible. Because you're looking at everything, you're looking at the salt Carbs. and everything. It's a nightmare. But I don't think that's a bad thing, though. Like I said, I go for affairs once or twice a year where for a week I'll do calorie counting. Purely because I can sit and eat a packet of biscuits in like three minutes with one cup of tea. And you don't realise what you eat until you look. Because you just kind of think, oh, it's, it's in a supermarket, it's fine for me to eat it. But if anyone does a week of calorie counting, you'll realise that you eat 
far too much shite. Yep. And you just fill your body with shite. And then you don't eat enough of the proper stuff. And I'm not one of these to sell. You should have some veg. I, I, I'm all about mixed diet and just eat what you want. Just do it properly. But like I said, I think it's far too easy to just get a, get carried away with having far too much sugar. When I looked, I remember smoked like 10 times more sugar than I was supposed to be having. Mm. I'm not like I said, I'm no, not the one of these. Worst thing, the the worst over, thing, though, but... is, is how much hidden sugar there is. And that's yeah. where, and <laughs> it's so like you've got to look what carbs there are. And you have to read, it, it's very, it's a bit like salt. When you're looking on salt on a packet of crisps or whatever, a lot of people don't read the, they read the salt part, but then they don't read the sodium part. But yeah. basically sodium is salt. And it's same with your carbs and things like that. That carbs is your sugars. And you would be surprised what sugar's in. Just so yeah, you know in I, chat I, as well, Mike Haynes, he's a diabetic. He's on insulin. Um, Ahmad, uh, Brad, Army man Brad, he's uh, uh, on keto. Uh, Kate, yeah, it's a keto, isn't it? He eats 20 carbs a day. Uh, Bill Richards, exactly the same. Sorry about that, bro. I struggle to relate to any of this because I've never overeaten in my life. Stu, get it done, mate. You've got to get them tested. Mark, I've sat down here for, what, a year? And I, I've been, it's, it's terrible. I like how everyone had a completely straight face for not knowing how to take that. You're, well, you're the only one going, you're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> Dillegaff, Aidan and Mark are all like, Try not to try not to smile. I'm like, yeah, all right, fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll, it'll, it'll come. I, I I thought I were a little bit invincible to it. Well, obviously, when Mark got it, I thought, I, and I had my bloods test, especially after I had me uh, mini stroke and stuff, and I were all fine. Everything was fine. And I tell you, <laughs> I, I always said this every time it comes back as well. My blood test, and they go to the doctor and they go, "Your liver's absolutely fine." My wife goes, "Fuck it off." So <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just made a good point as well. People think smoothies are really good for you. If you're a diabetic, no, they're not. No. Are they no, they're no good for you then? No, so much and, sugar in their fruit. And but also, be really careful. And cooked fruit's worse because cooked fruit increases the sugar content. Yeah. I, I can actually relate to that from a, a slim fast. No, is it slim fast? No, slim as well. I, they used to go, cause I, I thought this was a brilliant cheat. You can have all the fruit you want, it's free. Right, motherfuckers. Smoothies, here we come. Then all of a sudden I started getting bollocks and I put in like three pounds of strawberries into <laughs> it. with I get loads of fruit, I'm salted. No, bad mistake. You know what is really as well? Ca carrots, Lou, Lou's got loads of them all chopped up for me. Mm. What's really bad is flavoured uh, water. I, I once, when I worked at a pub, I thought I'm drinking far too much Coke, so I'm going to go and buy some Volvic flavoured water, some cherry water. <coughs> oh, me, it's got about as much sugar in as Coke has. Yeah. Yeah. You can out. eat fruit. Any berries are normally your best ones. Is that, I mean, that, that's how. I mean, the, the Scottish government kind of brought in the sugar tax, um, and a lot of the kind of juice companies and things like that actually had to make all their juices now. Oh, <laughs> because the, the the companies weren't paying the sugar. <laughs> She's got mayonnaise. They're trying to be serious here. Do you, if you I'm get with that, I'm going to <laughs> Can we watch that? <laughs> Hey, stop growling, you two. The what dogs are fighting. I'll tell you what, what I did, as well, Mark, I don't know about you. Do you Do you have... Fucking hell, what's she trying to hit him with? She says the nurse can use this for me prostate. <laughs> <laughs> Is it big enough? Can you put a rubber glove on the end? That's where the DSLR goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I tell you what, Mark, I don't know if you've noticed, you know, with this, obviously, the medication I'm on, it makes your trumps really smell. Oh, I'm not being funny. Even if oh, I don't yeah. eat, even if I don't eat egg, it, it smells of egg. Yeah. And I'm not being, again, this is another thing. There's a bloke in our club that we've all been taking the piss out for years because he stinks of egg when he farts. He's obviously a diabetic because it's the same smell, but the good thing about it is when I go there and I trump, they all fucking blame me. <laughs> Result. Oh, see if you're buying a dog. Oh, I've got a dog. Just look at him, Dean, and go. <laughs> I do, yeah. That's I've, done, I've done it three times today, and they've all gone, he's at it again. Oh, well, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, well, the you're dog going, oh, my wife looked at me. <laughs> the dog barked, and my wife looked at me, dirty bastard. It wasn't me. 
But it is, it's, it's that diabetic medication that's, like, it's obviously taking, it does smell. And I'll tell you what as well, you know, like, if you have a bit of a beer, if you have something that you don't really should have, it's, it's got an evacuation switch connected to it. You take this tablet and it goes, hey, I don't like this. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll not take it again. <laughs> Here's a comment. Why is everyone ill? Is it vaping? No, it's because no. people are getting checked and realising there's actually shit wrong with them. Oh, it's definitely not vaping. Definitely not vaping. I have always wondered that, though. What happens to the sugars in vapes? Does, does that... Well, the actual, that? Amount, the actual amount that you actually inhale, you actually... It's very minimal. Uh, yeah, Your body the, digests. It's it's anyway. I start calorie counting my vape, I'm full. <laughs> well, well, it is is one when I went went for me, um, you know, the the blood test before I actually got diagnosed. They told me that I wasn't allowed to vape because it had sugars in it. But then when you read up on it, it actually says that that like what Mark says, the the amount of sugars that are going into your system are very very minimal. And also, for argument's sake, you're vaping uh, menthol. There's no sugars in it. Yeah. That's why if you notice people that smoke menthol, pure menthol, their coils will last way longer than those that's using fruity flavours. Or, or custards or something like that, mm. yeah. It's it, it just... Uh, it, it, the whole thing of, of diabetes is, is a brand new world, isn't it? Mm. You see, they split it off into two groups. You've got type 1, type 2. Type 1 is where your body doesn't produce any insulin. We're type... Sorry, that was type one. Type two is where you do produce insulin, but it doesn't lock onto your actual uh, the, the actual cells, so it's actually making your blood sugars go higher. There's That's actually three, Mark. There's actually well, three. Yeah. Type C E is it or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Type C E, and I, I can't remember what what that actually means, but there is a third one. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I didn't realise as well. I mean, I, I've, I've been a first aider for years and I didn't realise up until the last first aid course that I went on that even artificial artificial sweeteners, especially for a diabetic, are actually pretty bad. Mm. Because when you're taking in like, with artificial sweetener, in, whether it's like me texting your coffee, your tea, your drink, a, a can of juice or whatever, your brain is registering that sweetness. So it's saying to your pancreas, make insulin. Because we're getting a sugar load coming in. So Shit. it starts to make insulin. There's no sugar there if I can take on it. So it's, it was something that, you know, well, that I didn't the, know that actually happened. In the same vein, then, wouldn't that be the same with the sweet vape? No, Do, because you're, it's... It doesn't go into your blood system. It's, not, it? going into, it's not going into your system. No, you know, your brain is registering sweetness. And Chico, you, hundreds next week, mate. But I think it, I think it's because it needs to be ingested, though. Mm. You know, ra rather than inhaled. Um, but yeah, that that was something I didn't know. That even if you're having stuff with the sweeteners on your pants. See, Mark, you, Mark, your yours goes up and down, doesn't it? Where mine's yeah. only mine only stays up. It won't. I think the best I've had is about eight point four, but it's still sitting around about ten. Yeah, I'm. I roughly sit around about eleven point five, eleven point seven, somewhere around. Which there. is not good either, is it? No, it's not good. No. No, it's, it's horrible. It, it is. It, it's hard work because, obviously, prior to me actually getting diagnosed diabetic, I was a chunky lad. I put plenty of weight on. I had. I was at my highest weight. I was what sixteen stone. I'm only five foot five, so that's a lot of weight to hold. And I ate whatever I wanted. I drank whatever I wanted, and life was good. You know, you're invincible. After being diagnosed with uh, diabetes i dropped down to i'm roughly just under 11 stone now and i basically eat like a nun i'm very very careful what i eat it's a lot down to things like portion sizes and things like that you just don't realize how much you're piling on a plate so we're very careful with the portion sizes i do treat myself i do have chocolate i do have the odd you know, um, ice cream or something like that, but it's so like in moderation. That's the only way that you can do it. But even still, with doing what I've been doing, exercising, all that kind of stuff, my blood sugars are still high. Uh, this this see. is what I run about. Adam Stone, thank you so much, mate, for, for putting your comment in there. Uh, I'm type three, 
because my pancreas is on part-time hours. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. My highest readings are 34 and my lowest was 2.8. I'm there with the 34 because yeah. that, that's where mine, and mine was sitting up in the 28s and 34s. And I yeah. just, I, like like Mark knows, I just put it off for a long time. And, and a lot, lot of it I put to me bipolar because it's got sort of the same symptoms. Because when, when we... Um, when my bipolar kicks in and the stress kicks in, it makes me want to go to sleep. And it's, it's that sort of, the stress of it, it just puts on. And me, me, um, as soon as I get that as well, I start getting, um, oh, what's it called when your hair goes? Um, alopecia. So mm. I'm, I'm getting alopecia at the side of me, in my face. So you know it's so my beard starting to disappear. Yeah. And that, that then brings on more stress. Um, but I thought it was that. And I put it off, for, Mark and I put it off for, for a good year. Mm. And it wasn't, you see, I it never, was that... see, I never, especially when I first got diagnosed with diabetes, I never had the traditional diabetes um, symptoms. Normally, it's so sort of like you wee a lot, you drink a lot. If you do wee, it's kind of got like a pear kind of smell to it. Never had any of that. The only thing that I had was I was tired all the time. That's the only thing that was. Relevant. I had I had the wee in, and the tiredness was just the one. Yeah. It didn't matter how much sleep I actually had, I was always Still tired wide. continuously. So yeah. It's, it's and, a, it, and it it does, and like I said, I couldn't work it out whether it was me. Like I said, I couldn't work it out whether it was my bipolar or if it was the fact of of that. Because obviously, they say that thousands upon thousands of people, in especially in the UK, are diabetic and they don't even know that they are. Yeah. If, if any of you, like I said, anyway, I my sort of symptoms, like Mark said, was I was weaning a lot. I was getting up out of bed four times, if even if I hadn't had a beer, um, four times, and it, and it also makes you feel like you haven't actually gone for a wee. You get back in, and you think I feel like I haven't gone for a wee. And then you, you, you're sort of in that discomfort bit and then you go for another way. And it's something I've really liked. The fact of like last, last night I was really tired, went to sleep and I went up and down and you could wee properly. Yeah. But then again, that, that's also symptoms of prostate titis as well, prostate cancer. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's weird how so many symptoms from different various ailments are all linked. I think all, are all the same kind of symptoms. I think that is quite an important input because it's all right us saying the symptoms of things and stuff. The bottom line is if you know there's something not right with you, if you're constantly tired it, or uh, even if it's as little, I'm, what I mean is if, if it's as little as you're just constantly tired, you should still can get it checked out because the worst thing to do is presume it's diabetes because something that we've said, because that's just as bad as Googling your symptoms and going, oh, yeah, I think yeah. I've got this. Or yeah. it might be just simple as this. If you've got any symptoms of anything that you think's out of the normal for you or it's putting you down, just go to the doctors. And they might say, do you know what? It's no, you just need to do this or you need to exercise more. Or they might say you've got diabetes, you've got cancer. Well, I think if you've got good, a symptom, though. go and check it out. I think it's good. Us blokes, I mean, let's face it, we're all blokes here. We don't normally talk about things like this. No, and I think it's good that we are, we're getting to the stage now in society that we men are now talking about health issues. It's, this has been a big societal change in the last, sort of, I'd say, 10 years, mm. yeah, where blokes are now just opening up about it. You know, it's, it's not, because let's face it, I mean, I'm probably the guiltiest person on earth of this, but I'd be right. I'm just knackered. it would be fine. It's just maybe, or my wife say, you're just a fucking lazy bastard. Which is probably true. But the, the you know, these things, you've never really opened up to anyone about it. And it's only been, I mean, for me, it's only been really this year that I've started opening up to people like Aiden. I was talking to Aiden the other day on Facebook about a problem I'm having at the moment, which is pretty painful. But the fact is, is that a year ago, I'd never done that. Mm. Ever. Never even thought about it. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, I mean, I, I can wholeheartedly agree with that as well because it, it's I've suffered from depression for years and never did anything about it, and it's only in the last a year, eighteen months or so that I've actually been open, more open about it about my depression, my mental health, and stuff. But it's something that men don't. I think I think it's a cultural thing. Mm. 
But men, you, you seem to be, you're seen as the breadwinner, that you know, you're the head of the household and that kind of stuff. You you don't suffer from men like that. You're supposed to be invincible and all the rest of it. We're, not, we're, we're, we're human beings like everybody else. We do suffer from shit like this. And for goodness sake, if anybody's out there and chatting, you do suffer from any, any of the stuff that we've spoke about today, anything at all, please, for goodness sake, go and get yourself checked out. And the other thing as well, if, if you feel you can't talk to anybody and you've got a connection to any one of us who are on the screen, yeah. Yeah. the, the yeah. inbox is open. If you've got a connection, yeah. you think you've got a connection, then please speak, talk. The, the only thing you can do. And there's also a great show on um, on a Sunday at Opus 9, which is called The Misfits. Yeah. Again, go over there. They've also got a Discord. There is somebody there 24 hours a day for you to be able to speak to. Uh, mental illness is uh, not a very nice place to be. And just think you're never alone. You've always got somebody to speak yeah. to. And I'll show you. I mean, it just goes to show the change in culture as well because um, I received an email. Uh, it was a company email, actually, um, the other day. And what a lot of companies are doing now is, and it seems to be a quite a big thing regarding mental health, companies, major companies are actually sending um, their employees, or letting their employees go to see different specialists. Yeah, for everything, there's, there's whether it's also, weight, mental health, physical health, whatever. There's a, a blue tick company that I used to work for, and I, I still speak to quite a few of them that work there. And now, they because of the high stress of the job, Every six months, they have to go to the in-house psychiatrist. They actually pay for a psychiatrist to be there, yeah. so you can go to them anytime you want. But you have to mandatory go get checked up every six months. Yeah, wow. yeah that's, I'm, just, I'm, that's just a call center type place. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still waiting on my assessment phone call from the the therapist um, because of that they want to put me on what they call CBT, which is yeah. cognitive oh, behavior, cognitive behavioral therapy. I thought that was for your motorbike. Yeah, I've already passed that one. <laughs> so, so I got mixed with HRT, hormone therapy. I'm going, hey, he's going for his hormones. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm still waiting on that coming through to, you know, I, I need to get my head, my head sorted out. I'm just, I'm all over the place at the moment. But then again, it's I'm, I'm not sleeping. It's like I sleep, but that can be due to other things as well. It's not just mental health. <clears> you guys have said it's... it's it, it, it also sits there, I've said that for a lot of years, that Mark's exactly the same as me. Again, it, it could be something that's a part of the family, you know what I mean? We never really looked into it, but Mark's one of these that would be really tired from probably around about 7 up till around about 12, and then all of a sudden everybody goes, Hello! Well, I want to stay awake because there's nobody around. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of times we talk me, to I each see, other. I, I, I seem to get a real bad lull around 3 o'clock, 3, 4 o'clock. And I get mega tired. I probably just People need a nap. Nana <laughs> nap. There's nothing wrong with nana nap. Yeah. The Spanish have done it for centuries. Hmm. Well, yeah, they, they had this yesterday at two o'clock. Everybody yeah. goes home and then they all re back open. But yeah, Mark, how many times do we, we sort of meet on the toilet? And we don't live together, obviously. But we meet on the toilet about four yeah. o'clock in the morning. Are you all right, bro? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, bro. I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll, you, we'll, we'll have about a twenty-minute conversation, right? We'll try and get some sleep. And, and, and do you get and do you get that 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 sensation where you can't switch off and your brain goes? Oh, and oh, my brain won't shut and, up and anyway. Your brain, and your brain's wondering, but I wonder how hot the sun actually is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but my one was always who makes paper clips? Shit like that, you know. It, it's, it's... Uh, mine's always so sort of like, how do dragons blow candles out? <laughs> And then you get to the other point as well, because I've got a massive paranoid streak in me as well, because I think people don't like me, and which some people obviously don't like you, because not everybody will like you, but you start overly thinking about stuff that have gone off, and there's plenty of people who are in chat, and or I've spoken to, I've got, look, have I upset you? Have I, have I said something wrong to you? I, I'm so sorry. I, I've, I've I meant it this way. And you, it, Mark's like it. I'm like it. Oh, I would tell, you know when, obviously, what went off with YouTube with my channel, he was so like, I overthink, think, over thought that one yeah. seriously yeah i said to you every other week i get a message on a thursday morning saying you know when i called you a fat bastard last night <laughs> yeah I've always... <laughs> bro bro I, I said something to you the other day I, I, I didn't i didn't mean it to come out that sort of way but that you know you've actually the, the way yeah. my brain's worked is that i've sat there all the way through the night the, the gaily box is in there loads of times before I get, was i horrible last night did i say something terrible and, and he's like oh, well i'm bad <laughs> Especially when I've had a beer, I'm absolutely fucking terrible. Oh, hell. I'm not. Am I really, Mark? You're not terrible, <laughs> mate. Lovely lad. 
Yeah, it's just yeah, I, love you. I love you loud. <laughs> love you too, bro. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Bill. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting to that point in the evening. We're going to say our goodbyes. And um, thank you so much for everybody who stuck with us as well. We're a little bit over time. And once we finish, please get yourself over to Benny Vapes. He's an absolute <laughs> lovely bloke and I love him loads. Benny, I said he could go slightly over. This is taking the fucking piss. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, do- oh, I'll do that in a minute. We'll say goodbye, Zali. <laughs> goodbye, guys. <laughs> that has been delightful. You know you're great. If you're watching on the replay, don't forget, if you've made it this far into the show, um, <laughs> then don't forget to bang me down into the comments and leave a comment. Dilly Gaff, it has been delightful. So I don't think we've ever been on a stream together. We're, I think once, maybe. I think uh, once, yeah. Yeah, Mark. Oh, it's been delightful. Mark, oh, I've missed you. I really I have. I missed you too. And let's face it, we're more brothers than you and Aiden. It's, it's, it's just that <laughs> I have missed you, dude. It's been a long time. Mr. <laughs> B, I have delight. It's been absolutely incredible watching you have come chucked on you all afternoon. <laughs> I could do it for 12 hours of that. Um, oh, man, I love watching your wife squirt on you. Uh, little bro. Go <laughs> that far, dirty bastard. <laughs> little bro, bobbles. Bobble, bobble, bobbles. Can I lick a smile? Chat, it's been delightful. Replay, guys, you've been great. Love you. Over to Mr. B. Snow White's piss wipes. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, honestly, it's been an absolutely fantastic night. Steve, so I, hail well. every, I absolutely hail everything you do and love all the products you make. Don't forget to go check out his Facebook and look at everything he does because trust me, it's worth it. Aiden's real brother. What can I say? It's been a delight. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. You're like, you're like my brother from another mother. <laughs> anyway, fuck off. I still didn't forgive you for that time. You didn't show up, bastard yellow card. <laughs> no, honestly, it's been fantastic. Make sure you give the show a like. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you check everybody here out. And make sure you give Aiden a little kiss so he knows you haven't upset him. Bye. Bye. Oh, to Mr. Dilly Gaff Porter. Guys, thanks so much for having us on. It's been it's been great. It's been an absolute giggle. Um, I, I think because we're not doing a show tomorrow night, Mark, I think it would have been a little bit stressful. Uh, but this just broke it up, guys. I really, really appreciate it. It's been it's been really good laugh and informative as well. Um, I hope you guys in chat have um, took on board some of the things that we've been saying towards the end of the show there. Um, and please go get yourself checked out if you're, if you're suffering from any ailments at all. It won't, you know it makes sense. And if next Thursday at half past seven, you're not doing anything, come and check Mark and myself and Steve out on the Home Service Live. Thanks again, boys. Over to my absolute wonderful brother, Marky Crew. Ali, he's been ace. I missed you, kid. I'm so missed you. Poor and this Mr. is the B. first time that me and Mr. B have actually uh, done I know. something together. Oh, so, and it's been awesome, mate. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Really have. Betty, you know I love you, bro. Love you too. And my little brother. My little cute little nipper. <laughs> lovely uni. If you haven't liked this video, please go over and give it a massive big thumbs up. Guys in chat, it's been awesome seeing you all there. Most of them I do already know, and it's been a senior. People on the replay, hello. <laughs> and for everybody else, thank you very much for having both me and Betty on your show. It's been awesome. Thank you. Big love to BFG who's not here, mate. Um, it would have been better if you was here because we love you too. Ooh, matron. Uh, I hope you're having a great time in Liverpool. Big love to everybody who's been in chat. You're a bunch of stars. You make the show. Without you, we are absolutely nothing. You people, the wonderful people who look after us, the wonderful spanners, thank you so much for keeping us safe tonight. You are a bunch of spanners. Stars, and I love you so much. Don't forget to get yourselves over onto Solom's channel for, on a Thursday at Hopper 7 before the UK Vape Show, which will be back this week at Hopper 7. Make sure you go and check them out. Absolute great show. To- you're going to love it. If you like this, you're going to love that. So get yourself over to there. 
Big love to Stevie. Big love to my wonderful big brother. I love you, Marky. Loads and loads and loads. Next week, we have got the 100th show. There's Simon Mr. Coily, the original Mr. Coily, the one who made it. Simon Mr. Coily. We have got the wonderful Salford Vapor on. We've got Flat Cap on. And then you've got us three on as well. It's going to be a great show. So make sure you join us next week, 8 o'clock. Same channel, same bat time. Big love to you all. Look after yourselves and we'll see you later. Harley, I love you. Mr. B, I love you too. Good oh. night. Benny, you now have our permission to start. Aiden. <laughs> Aiden. Do I go back to... Do I go back? Oh, there we go. Monkey on the what? Monkey on the car. Monkey on the car. Monkey on the car. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> back to the outro. <laughs> Bye! Oh, I'm going in! in. I hope, I hope, it's up to piss match we go. Watch this one.